Hello, this is Peter with PM Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very quick and easy walk cycle. Uh, the first thing I should do is show you that I've um, made this reference image, which you can, or you can take a screenshot of it now, but it just shows the four poses that we're going to do. The, f the fourth pose is actually just a mirror of the first one, so there are basically only three poses. Um, some animators would say that you need five, but I found that Blender can actually interpolate quite easily between these. Um, the second thing I've done is I've set my start frame at 0 <coughs> and the end at 36. This just makes it easier for calculating what's going on. And I'm going to keep my floor because it helps you line up the feet. But another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a ceiling um, because it will help you line up the head. Because you know, as, you, as you walk, you rise up and down. So I've got that. I'll get that lined up roughly with the picture. Something like that. So I'm going to use the human meta rig, which is you can find in your preferences, type rig in your add-ons, not riff, rig, and add this one, rigging, rigify, and this will give you access to the human meta rig. And the good thing, the reason I'm doing it with this and not full character is because once you animate the rig, you can put the rig into any, um, any character, and you're good to go. Turn on the screencast keys. And, you know, the animation is already there, ready for you to... to um, to animate. So I'm going to use this guy. I'm just going to line him up roughly with this picture at the base and go to pose mode and I'm going to start from the front because we're going to we're going to start with our left leg forward so I want to rotate the the pelvis slightly on the z-axis. Also I'm going to rotate the shoulders slightly on the opposite in the opposite direction on the z-axis and then I'm just going to rotate his head Back so it's facing forward and we've got this nice nose bone to line up with the blue line there with the z-axis line right. Another thing I'm going to do, get the arms down and press X to symmetrize what I'm doing here, so, well to mirror what I'm doing here and it's just, oh, excuse me, we'll put that on individual origins, it's easier, bring that down. I'm not doing this with an IK rig because maybe you don't have an IK rig so I'm just going to do it the slightly longer way. Um, just to make sure everyone can do this. Turn off my mirroring so I don't move both legs at the same time. Put that up there, that's about right. Move that back here. And now I can see that my character isn't quite lined up, but it's okay. I'm gonna turn up the toe slightly. Uh, one thing I forgot to do, let's go back. Um, I forgot to set this on. So let's go right back. And click this automatic keying on so that everything I do will be kind of saved in that rough position. Let's start that again. Turn off the mirroring. Sorry about that. Okay, rotate that one up there. I'm going to take this one back here. And his feet are off the floor, so I'm going to grab the pelvis, the base bone, bring it down. Um, if you had a character or mesh on here, it would be slightly thicker, so. Um, he wouldn't be touching the floor at these points. He would be off the floor, so just account for that. And so we're bringing the left leg forward, so the right, ar right arm is going to go forward, and the left arm is going to go back. Some people now would say for the back arm, you should rotate this to here. Not that much, but kind of straight. But if once you put this, if you animate this, and then you put it into a, um, a mesh, it will make the arm bend back too much. So we're not going to do that. Why is it not okay? Why is it not automatically keying my poses? All right, well let's try it out anyway. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to select all and I'm going to copy the pose. Right-click, copy, and I'm going to go to the last frame, which is frame 36, and I'm going to paste that pose. Then I'm going to go back to frame 18, and I'm going to right-click and post X flipped pose. So now what we've got is the beginnings of a walk cycle see it's that easy yeah so this is why I put it into 36 because it's just easier to do the maths um, right I'm gonna go back to object mode click my reference image and then line up the next position which is gonna be about here about this one something like that I'm doing this very roughly and then I'm gonna go to frame 6 and I just want to make sure that these are matching now matching the image so it's gonna be my uh, the left leg we started with, wasn't it? I'm going to rotate that back here to be flush with the ground. And the 
right leg is going to come up to there and bend and the toe will be straightened something like that the arms are okay but just to match the image I'm going to bring them into the <coughs> into the body so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that all of that by pressing A copy the pose I'm going to go to frame what 24 and paste X flipped so now you can see oh, it's kind of a bit crazy there. What's that about? Do, 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 do. Why is he doing that? No, I didn't see that. Okay. Oh, it's happening here. Because it didn't save in that one. That's okay. What we can do is go to frame 18 where we have it right. Copy that. Go back to frame 1. And paste X flipped. So now we have that correct one. Yeah, good. And now all we need to do is do one more, which is in frame 12, which is going to be the, the high pose, where the character sort of raises up to the highest, the tallest that they're going to be. As you can see, the head doesn't quite match there, the, the height of the head, sorry. So and this is going to be it. And then we're going to, again, we're going to copy and paste that. So we're just going to rotate that leg slightly, rotate the foot a little bit. bring this leg forward the arms don't quite match but the arms are pretty good anyway and so yeah it's not too bad if I try and line these up perfectly you'll see that his foot will start to go into the ground so this is when we need to raise his entire height slightly to match that image about there good <coughs> and we can copy all of that Go to frame 30, paste X flipped. And that is it, it's done. <laughs> Believe it or not, super easy, isn't it? The, you, this is just a basic one. Um, but so if I now just play this through, yeah, we've got some, some jerkiness going on with the shoulders there. I'm not sure why that's happening, but you can go and fix that. What's happened? Where is that going on? 18. Right, so it's turning off too much on that but I'm not going to bother fixing it now I just wanted to show you a quick way to do it um, maybe measure when you're when you're turning things off and you'll be able to get a better result than that but that's all you need you just need to set the first one which is called, it's called the contact and then you copy that and paste it to the last frame and you paste X flip to the middle frame and then you do the second pose which is called the, the passing copy that set it to the one after the middle frame and then you copy the third one which is the high point when he's at his tallest point and you copy that and set it to the penultimate uh, frame the one before the end and you get a nice little walk animation something going on with his head maybe he's got Tourette's or something but yeah there you go if you found that useful please drop a like thanks very much